Little Victories here, and today I have my monthly eBay sales video for August. I apologize ahead of time, my voice is going to be a little raspy. Uh, I got pretty sick for a week or two there, but I'm on the mend. Um, so in August, my numbers were down a bit, but still respectable, and there were things that I was excited about, which I'll explain later. But first, I want to share a few eBay selling tips which has helped me create a stable income producing eBay store. So hopefully that can help you. So <clears throat> the first tip is to, you know me, buy raw and grade. Um, but you need to start grading unique cards, cards you don't see listed on eBay very much. Um, you know, you don't want to be competing against a million other sellers selling the same card. So try and grade cards with low serial numbers, uh, short print runs, cards with low populations on the pop reports, uh, you know, grade players. People really haven't started grading yet. Um, and this way, you know, when you go to sell on eBay, you can essentially set your own price. Uh, a good example of this is the, I'll show it right here, 2010 Julian Edelman Tops Base Card. So you would think it's just like a five cent junk base common, but it's actually his first Tops card. Yes, his rookie year was 2009 for cards, but he didn't have a Tops or Tops Chrome rookie made uh, that year. So... Look at what they are selling for in PSA grade. Probably around $150 for a PSA 10 and around $40 for a PSA 9. Not bad for a junk card we probably all have lying around the house. But, you know, if you don't have one, it looks like they are selling raw on Comp C. You can pick one up for like two or three bucks. Another tip is to have at least 1,500 items listed in your eBay store at all times. And, you know, shoot for most of them to be graded. Um, you know, you got to keep your inventory fresh, fresh flowing, which means you need to grade consistently and frequently. I say submit a new order to PSA at least once a week. And I'd say the the cards that sell the most for me are have a price point of around 65 to 85 dollars um you know most people aren't high rollers and are understandably reluctant to buy huge higher end cards but they still want a solid quality graded card and you know around that 75 dollar price point is perfect and it's justifiable expense for most people's budget uh, also, I say, you know, if you don't have a bunch of money to grade cards, because, you know, it's expensive to grade cards, but you still want that nice inventory in your eBay store, uh, then I say you got to bust your butt surfing auction style listings on eBay each and every day. Snipe those good deal graded card auctions. You know, a lot of times you're going to win cards for 50% of what you could sell them for as a fixed price style in your eBay store. Um, finally, utilize that best offer feature on all of your listings. I'd much rather people lowball me offers than not get any offers at all. And you know, if, if sales are slow, then create a 15 to 25% off store-wide sale. That should generate added interest and get rid of some of those stale cards you may have in your store. Okay, so now let's go over my August eBay sales numbers. And then I will show you each card I sold in August. So like I said earlier, the numbers in August were down. But I still think they were solid. And I often see lower numbers in August because people are... You know, going on family summer vacations or people are getting back broke from the national. Um, so historically, August is usually down. Um, in the past, I'd say the best months I usually have are in the winter. Um, maybe like November to February when, 
you know, football, you're getting into the playoffs and basketball's in full swing and, you know, people are speculating for baseball, you know, all the spring training prospects, stuff like that. So I think usually those are my best months. But, all right, let's get into the numbers. But first, it's the highest sold percent increase card that I sold in the month of August. Last month of July, it was that Ralph Sampson star card. I think I bought it. Overall, I was invested like $20 into it, and I sold it for $400. But this month, I did not beat that. But it was still pretty good. I sold this Tony Kukoc, 1993, famous nicknames. You know, that's like a quarter dollar, quarter to dollar raw card, right? I was only invested pretty much the grading fee, so like 16 bucks. And I sold it for around $200. So that is an over 1,100% increase. So that is the card of the month. <laughs> All right. So next up, we got the 90-day total sales. Still pretty solid down. I think maybe July was around 68000 for 90 days. But still just over 61000 I'm happy with. Um, next it looks like I sold 197 items. That's averages about seven items a day. It's about right. And, uh, it looks like the average price per item sold was around a hundred dollars. So pretty solid there. I think it was like $120 in July. Um, <clears throat> next is the total sales gross. Um, I almost made 20,000. So it was like 19,588. Uh, the net, you know, take away the eBay fees and some tax and stuff like that, was around 15328 which it looks like it was down about 13 to 14%, but that's okay. Um, next, uh, I like to give this number because I spent the time adding up the money spent for each item I sold. Uh, you know, how much I had invested into each item. And that number came to, all the items, items added up, came to 7520 So from that number, I can estimate the actual profit. So I would take the net sales, you know, which was the 15328 and minus that 7520 And that comes up with 7808 which was actually more than last month even though my total sales were higher so that is a good sign for the profit margin that it should be higher and here we go let's enter the numbers and the profit margin it looked like it was nearly 51 percent up nearly 10 percent from july so that's a i think that's a great thing um and if we are going by percent increase, it would be at about 104%. So I'm very happy to eclipse that 100% mark. Uh, let's see. I think I only have one more number. Uh, I wanted to give you the percent graded myself out of these cards I sold this month. So I sold 197 cards. 167 of them were cards that I personally uh, submitted and graded through PSA or other grading companies. So that means 84% of my sales are from that, you know, raw to grade, me flipping the raw to grade. So I think that showcases and supports the, the success you can have going from raw to grade. All right, so now is the time where I will scroll through and tell you each item I sold on eBay. So you can either watch that if you want to get a feel for what cards are selling. If not, I appreciate you watching this video. Here we go. All right, first up, it looked like it was the 2012 Intrigue Kyrie Irving PSA 10. I think I sold that front for around $140. Great deal. Good profit on that one. The Brunson is sold for around $35. The Josh Allen, I realized it was selling for less, so I think I accepted a $60 offer. Pretty good, good profit on that one. The next one, I'm very happy with that Chipper Jones uh, BGS 9.5. It was previously a PSA 8 crackout, 
and it sold for the full sale price of 240 so I'm very happy with that sale. <clears throat> the Kukoc pretty much broke even on that one because it didn't get the 10 so that's okay. The Kobe sold for probably around 24 the Nash, the Anthony Edwards, a little sad selling that one, probably for around 87 That's a card I didn't necessarily want to sell. But the Marvel Masterpiece Juggernaut, very happy. Anytime those sell, you know, I don't have a strong affinity for them. I, I like the cards, but I prefer sports cards. Ended up selling it for like $100. I, uh, you know, I was only into it probably 20 bucks. Dexter Lawrence, some Jordan. Here's a Justin Jefferson. Again, I don't like selling his stuff, but I think I sold it for around 80 bucks. Fletcher Cox, he's a good hold. That's a sale. Maybe I shouldn't have made. I think I sold around sixty, but you know you gotta have the money coming in too. You can't keep everything, unfortunately. Oscar Robertson, some Tyler Johnson. I don't even know if he's in the league anymore. Some Jordan Love selling. Stephen Adams, the Damian Lillard. Um, you know I I'm not. I I loved that card and. Then, I think I bought it for around 175 so I didn't make much profit, but I yeah, just needed the money. Uh, Marvin Harrison, probably broke even on that one. Some Deshaun Watson, that was pretty good profit. I probably bought it on the off season for around 70 bucks and sold it for around 150 Uh Eric Dickerson, probably sold that for around 25 bucks. The Kirk Cousins, I bought on Comp C for 90 that I sold for 140 So a little bit of profit there. Some Jordan, probably around 18 bucks. I sold it for. That McDice, that was an interesting card. The 99 Highlight Reels Refractor. It was a pop one. Um, you know, so it was hard to price. I think I sold it for around $125, somewhere around there. Um, so I'm I'm okay with that. It's a good profit. I was only into it at the grading fee, so 20 bucks. So Freddie Freeman, I think I sold that one for around 110. I bought it for 80, so not much profit there. Here's a Larry Nance Star. Sold that one for around 75, I believe. Big Ben X Fractor sold for I think it was that full price. Um uh, here's that Lionel Messi. You've been seeing a lot of those in my reveals. Selling them for around 30, 35 bucks. Mike Evans, that's a card, that's a hold too. Um you know, I think he'll be a Hall of Famer. He's still playing. I love those. You know, I love those active players that are going to be Hall of Famers. So they're only padding their stats right now. Uh, I think I sold it for around 90. Uh, Stefan Diggs, Black Refractor. We got some beam teams. Patrick Ewing, I sold that one for around 47. Some Chipper Jones, some Brandon Cooks. Uh, I'm pretty happy about those sales because I'm not you know, sold that he's a Hall of Famer. You know, it's crazy. He hasn't even made a Pro Bowl. Um, but I think he's going to have a good year for Dallas, and he's had a good career. Uh, I sold those for around 97 each, those Prism PSA 10 autos. Here's that Peyton Manning the crack out that I tried for a 10. I ended up getting a 9 again. I think I sold it for around 45. The Ja Morant PSA 10. I think I ended up selling it for around 580 maybe or 600. I think it was closer to around 600 So, wow, those have dropped a lot, but that's okay. Uh, we got a Shea PSA 10, sold for around $74, I believe. We got an Aikman PSA 10, Tom Brady, the Jalen Brunsons. I'm happy with those. I think I bought two of those off Com C for like 45 50 bucks each and sold them for around 85 So I'm okay with that. Harrison Barnes. Um, the silver, I think I sold that one for around 120, 125. Here's an Arenado PSA 10. That was around 65. The Chauncey Billups I had forever and it's still a pop one, that 97 SP authentic. You know, I love condition sensitive cards when they get that gem 10. Um, but this one just wasn't selling. I probably had it for a couple years. So I went ahead and took the offer of, I think it was 140 maybe. <laughs> Here's Scotty Pippen. That was a good sale. Um, I think I bought it raw back in the day for like 70 bucks and graded it with Beckett. Uh, I think I ended up selling it for $300. Um, this Kobe, it's another card that I wish I could keep. 
that Fleer was such a nice copy. And uh, I think it's really undervalued right now, his PSA 9 Fleers. They're condition sensitive. Here's another card I like, that Barry Sanders Wolverine Marvel. Um, it was a nice 9 copy, but it just wasn't selling. It had sat there probably for a year. Or maybe, I don't know, at least eight months. Anyway, sold it for around 140, I believe, 130. Uh, Michael Jordan, Olympics. We got that Lane Johnson, man. I really wanted to get a 10 on that one, so not much profit there. Um, the Shaquille O'Neal sold for around 90. The Destiny Refractor. Some Lidstrom, some Hockey. That one sold for around 60. Jonathan Taylor, you know, I had... I had two silver PSA 10s, and uh, they both sold. Um, it's just high risk. Those running backs, you know, they had a, they usually have a great first couple years, but then the fall can be dramatic. So I was okay selling those. They're risky to hold. Uh, I think I sold an, I sold them for around 190 each. Here's some LeBrons that sold, some Beam Team 8s. That Griffey's is a cool card. I think it sold for around 62 Troy Polamalu, some Calvin, some Herberts, uh, Marcus Mariota. That was a good sale. I, I'm glad I broke even on that. I think I think I bought it raw for 25 and graded, so sold it for around 40. Um, the Pudge sold quick, I think within a couple days of listing, for around I think it was 70 bucks. The Chris Mullen nine, uh, some more LeBron. The contenders they did not sell for that. I think it was just priced at the peak i just haven't edited some of them so i think i accepted like 40 bucks hakeem olajuwon beam team that sold for around 62 that the tila the laser orange i bought at the card show for 50 bucks and graded it uh i went ahead and sold it for around 390 i believe um which may be really stupid <laughs> in hindsight um, you know, in the future if he does well, but I don't know. I just need the money and I'm not completely sold on Tila. Um, Devin Booker, I, I have a lot of these silvers, so I was okay selling one or two off. They're so low right now. I think I sold it for around 325. <clears throat> we got a Brandon Cooks, pristine 10 and 10, but it's a Leaf product, so I'm okay selling that. Um, some Zach Martin, you can still get his autos for around 20, 25 bucks, his rookie autos. I recommend doing that. Um, you got 2010 Freddie Freeman. I think these were under undervalued as well. They're pretty condition sensitive, in my opinion. <clears throat> and they were selling for like 70 bucks when I listed it. So I went ahead and sold it for 80 I believe. The Tyrese Maxi Color Match, really cool card. That's another card I wish I wouldn't have sold, but I did. Um, we got some Emmett Thurman, Joe Montana, some T-Law, Garrett Wilson. That one I pretty much broke even too. I thought it'd be a 10. Uh, we got some Mickey Mantle archives, Beltron, the Barry Sanders, the, the gold marquee finally sold. It was a BGS 9.5. It looked good in the holder. Um, PSA graded an 8. Um, yeah, I wasn't much into that. Probably into it about 40 bucks with all the grading fees. Um, we got some Jordan. Kyle Pitts, <clears throat> Jalen Brown, second year silver for probably sold it for around twenty bucks. Sammy Sosa sold for around sixty five. Ceedee Lamb, that was an interesting card to price because it was a I think it was a pop one, nothing on there. I ended up selling it for ninety five, I believe. Mika Fitzpatrick sold for around sixty five. Pavel Bure, we got some Nash. Uh, the Trayvon Diggs, um, I think I ended up selling that for around 140, 145. Oh, the next card's a fun one. That's the one I bought at a card shop for $10 raw, and it looked beautiful. It looked perfect. I knew it was going to get 10, and then it got the 10. And <laughs> at first, I thought it would just sell for $100, but then luckily, I checked the comps. You got to check comps when you're listing items, and they were selling for around two to $300, so... I think I ended up selling that one for two twenty five, for a Derek Carr card. So I'm happy with that. Here's another Marvel masterpiece. Sold it for a hundred bucks. Sabretooth. I'll sell those PSA tens for a hundred bucks all day. Um, the Derek Henry Ezekiel patch rookie as a cool card. Um, let's see what else. Keenan Allen. You got some Tiger Woods. Steph Curry. The Greg Maddox. Uh, I believe that was a low pop too. I think I sold it for around 115, 120. 
the Austin Reeves, uh, you know, like I said, I buy those for Com C for like four bucks and get it graded, and they've been selling for a hundred dollars. Uh, the Tom Brady eight, I don't think it was anywhere near that. That must have been peak prices. So I think I sold it for around ninety five. Uh, some Jalen Brunson, Quentin Nelson, I sold that for around eighty. Uh, the Kirk Cousins sold for around one hundred and forty, I believe. More Quentin Nelson selling. The Rondé Barber, that was a cool card shop pickup for 20 bucks, And so I probably only into it 40 bucks and sold it for 130 Here's the other Jalen Brunson I sold. Some Bryce Harper, Grant Hills, Tom Brady Bass that sold probably for around 50 bucks. The Alvin Kamara, not much profit on that one. Um, you know, he's not going to start the year. I just, I'm okay selling his stuff. Uh, we got some Griffey. More Marvel Masterpiece, the Daniel Jones, some Miguel Cabrera, some Stock Stockton, Griffey, the Amanda Nunez, that was a cool card, I think I got about 80 bucks for it, I think I bought it on Comp C for like 40 at one point. Freddie Freeman, Blue, we got some Tatum, USA Silver, here's a Brady, that one I'm probably only into it, 20 bucks, that Silver, um, let's see, Cameron Hayward, I think he's a future Hall of Famer. His autos you can still pick up for around fifteen bucks. Uh, we got Darren Fox. I sold that one probably closer to um, maybe around two fifty. Then we got some Max Scherzer, Traylon Burks, more of that Austin Reeves, Josh Jacobs, some Drew Brees, PSA tens. They're selling his stuff low right now, so I was okay selling those. They were probably a Sold them for around 50 bucks each, somewhere around there. Shannon Sharp, we got some Dawkins that Jackie Robinson sold right away. Anthony Rizzo, Andy Pettit sold quick on that PSA 9. The Shea, Cracked Pink, and uh, the Manning, I think I bought it for $100. So that was a card I actually bought graded. <clears throat> the Frank Viola, probably broke even on that one. Uh, the Vita Via, I'm happy about that, um, about the sale, I, I loved the card, I wish I could have kept it, because he is a, you know, he's a good start to his career, I think I bought it raw for around 20 bucks, and then grading fees, so I'm only into it like 35, 40 bucks, and sold it for around 175, I believe, uh, the Joe Burrow, the Mark Messier, he, uh, that was a good one, that, that was just a random card I found in a collection, like a dollar box, so, Probably only 20 bucks invested in that. The Dennis Rodman Beam Team. The Bam Monopoly. I took less on that. Probably like 65 70 The Tom Brady Contenders. I've, I had like 12 of those at one point. Someone's selling them for around 40 bucks. I'm okay with that. The Jimmy Butler. That's a cool card. The Mark McGuire. The Jokic. Here's a Monopoly. The Braun Raw. It was just off center, so I had to sell it raw. Um, LeBron James Playground. I think I bought that one. $80. Already graded. Um, here's the Buster Posey Diamond Anniversary. Some LeBrons. That's another card where I didn't reprice since the peak pandemic. And, uh, I checked and they were selling for, like, 100, 125, 150. I don't know. Anyway, um, I think he ended up buying it for, like, 150, 160. Uh, the Lionel Messi, some Buster Posey. Those Buster Poseys, his rookie 2010 PSA 10s, they sell quick. As soon as you list them, they sell. Um, I think I sold it for like 100 bucks. Sharif Abdul Rahim, PSA 8, some Levine. The next card's a fun one. I only sold it because I love it. It's the first year Prism 2012, number out of 10, Terrell Suggs. But it was sat in my store. I've, I think I've had it for two years. And I, it was because I had it so priced so high. I think I had initially had it at 3000 best offer. But it just wasn't selling, so I kept dropping. And then eventually I, I took the offer around 1300 or 1400 So that's what I sold it for. Uh, I think I was into it only 300 so still good profit. I just love the card. I wish I could have kept it. Aaron Donald, we got that at 10. Uh, Kobe Bryant, the Trent Williams, I'm telling you, you can buy those raw and comp C still for like eight bucks. And I got a 10, and I think I sold it for around 215. Um, what else we got? We got Joe Montana. I can't believe you can buy his autograph for less than 50 bucks, but you can. They're just on Leaf products, but still. I think I bought it on Comp C for 40 bucks. It was just a quick sale. 
Uh, Scotty Pippen, Beam Team, some Stockton, some Gary Paytons. Oh, the Billy Wagner. Man, go through your cards. You'd be shocked that these 94 Bowman sell for so much. I sold a PSA 9, not a 10, a 9 for $150, and it sold quickly. That's it's insane to me. So here's some T-Law. The Contavious Conta Caldwell Pope sold for around 60 The Choya sold right away. Lane Johnson, PSA 10. You see uh, future Hall of Famers, potentially. They sell pretty well, and they have low pops. Um, I think I sold it for around 125 The Ray Lewis, the color match was a cool card. RJ Barrett, you got some more beam teams. Some Devin Booker, that was a good sale. I think I sold it for around 150 I imagine the comps are well below that. Here's that Coo Coach, the winning card of the month. It, it sold for that full 200 bucks. Um, the Jordan Love sold for around 140 Some some vintage Ed Matthews, some Derrick Henrys. Um, Jarvis Landry ended up selling for around 75 I believe. The Ray Allen, so I did sell a few big cards. Um, this is another card that sat in price store probably for four years. All through the pandemic, I just had it priced too high. I was an idiot. I just wasn't investing much into it. I probably bought it a long time ago for around 300 bucks, And, uh, I don't I just, uh... People were making offers during the pandemic, probably for around 3000 and I just wasn't taking it. I don't know why. I should have. But anyway, I finally took one now at around $1,500. Um, we got Aaron Donald. We got a Jokic. We got Randy Johnson, some Barry Sanders. Here's a cool Diamond Cuts. Greg Maddox I sold that one for around 135 I believe. Some Kobe. Fran Tarkenton, some Ed Matthews, the Star Rubies. That one I found the pretty much a dollar box at a local card shop. Sold it for around forty-five, fifty bucks. Here's Tony Stewart, Demar Derozan, some Pujols, some Cooks, Dan Marino. I think I sold that one for around seventy. Some Jared Goff, the Tatum. That's an interesting one. I, uh, you know, when BGS at the show they announced that they were going to change their grading scales and the the true gems, all 9.5 subs and the 10, would have be um, kind of more valuable or they were going to restructure the grading so that card would be more valuable. So I went and bought a, a BGS true gem with the 10 and uh, <clears throat> then they retracted their <laughs> scale thing. So it was back to normal. So I cracked it out and got a BSA 10. Anyway, long story short, I ended up breaking even on the card. <laughs> Even though I cracked out and got the PSA 10. Oh, well. DeAndre Hopkins sold for around 80. I bought that one for like 35, so that was a good one. Um, some Shaquille, some Van Note, some Freemans, some Wades. Here's a Stranger Things sketch card. Uh, some Reggie Jackson, some Geno Smith, some Jordans, some Jokic. That was a good flip. I was probably only into that, the grading fee. I sold it for around 120 Here's some Russell Wilson. Probably bought that one for around 80 bucks. Sold it for 130 Some more Kobe's. The Garrett Cole. I was probably only into that one. Grading fee, 20 bucks, And sold it for around 150 There you go. That is the items that I sold. All right. If you were wondering what these cards were in the background, um, I spent all last week going through some of my raw football cards because PSA is having that $15.99 per card special going on for the year 2000 and newer football cards. So I found about 170 great looking cards that fit perfectly into this special that I'm excited about. So I will have this upcoming video where I'll go over each card and kind of my rationale and you'll get lots of tips of which players might be good to send in for the submission and stuff like that. So look for that video hopefully next week. And uh, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it everyone.